Good morning, awesome, beautiful people. Chuck here, and again, rainy, rainy Todd Panom. It come, it's come back to follow. Actually, it's been raining since April. We're going on six months of rain here in Thailand. Uh, for me, I, I don't think it's, in the eight years that I've lived here, it has not rained this much, ever. So, a lot of it has to do with the typhoons that are coming by way of the Philippines. When it gets through the Philippines, it's got to go through Vietnam. In between Vietnam and Laos is a gigantic mountain. So the storm usually breaks up almost all of it by that point and then hits a few mountains in Laos before it comes to Thailand. So what we get is rain, sometimes wind, but uh, we don't get any typhoons. That's another reason why I would never live in the Philippines. I'm going to visit the Philippines. I've never been there, but I don't like being somebody who's lived in Texas and Florida his whole life. I'm just, I no, I'm tired of hurricanes <laughs> and I don't want to be in a typhoon uh, over there. But not only that, but I just, I, Thailand, I prefer the, I prefer the Buddhist mentality of live and let live and you get back what you give karma kind of thing more so than you know do whatever the hell you want say a few hell marys and continue life on forgive me father for i have sinned that's putting it mildly 007 i don't know for sure uh i know that uh philippines is, is 80 percent roman catholic over there I just prefer the, not that I'm a religious person, I just, I prefer, um, yeah, peace and happiness. I probably went too far with that. Anyway, I hope I didn't upset anybody that lives in the Philippines. Or if you're Filipino. I've never been there, but I'd just rather live in Thailand. Mostly because of the weather. What's the matter with you people? I was joking! Don't you know a joke when you hear one? <laughs> anyway. I don't know pretty much what we're gonna do today other than organize a few things. Oh, it's Sunday fun day, I forgot. We're gonna have Sunday fun day. That is our traditional family gathering here at the house. I don't know how it's gonna turn out. It's supposed to end today. It's supposed to be over um, by this evening. Tomorrow, I would like to go into town and spend the day with mom. Mom has a new neighbor. He's also been a viewer of and subscriber of the channel for many years. Um, I've never met him. He's come to Thailand and has a few concerns he wants to talk about. I don't know if I can help him, but maybe I can be there to listen to uh, what he has to say. And uh, yeah, probably spend the night in the Kompanom and then wake up and play golf in the morning. I'm not going to try to make golfing videos. I know it upsets a lot of people. I just, for me, I thought that it would be something, even though you don't know how to do the sport or you don't like it or you find it boring, I think like baseball sucks. But if you play baseball, it's actually pretty fun. But when you get older, you probably can't really play baseball. So there's few sports <laughs> that you can do when you become older. And I just thought I would share the fact that Thailand has many golf courses and it's a really good form of exercise um, I think over 50 and and I find it pretty fun and I just wanted to show some of the some of the you know, maybe what the golf course has to offer you know to make it appealing to come try uh, I wasn't like trying to show anybody techniques on how to play golf or, or any of that I think people were interested in how my golf game was coming, so I would show a couple of shots um, of me playing bad golf, just real life stuff. But I know I did, I was, I mean, I get it. Like if you said, hey, watch this video, or I, I was watching a channel and all of a sudden you were showing me how to farm Bitcoin. I would be like, I don't give a shit about Bitcoin. I don't care about it. It's, you know, if I woke up one morning and all of a sudden I had no money, and my only form of 
money was in some virtual reality thing called a Bitcoin and I couldn't even touch it unless I went through an application to try to spend it. I think I would wake up and go, what the, f you know? But until that day comes, I don't care about it. I don't care. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, had a great trip. This will go. This will be gone here in a couple of days. And um, yeah, the journey will continue. My friend, John, my Australian friend, I usually kind of jerk his chain a little too much, I think sometimes pick on him. Um, you know, if I like you, we joke around a lot. And um, yeah, anyway, we're gonna meet up in Con Ken next week and uh, play some golf in Con Ken, show him around the area. And then he's gonna travel to Udon with me. And I'm going to, uh, my mom's gonna meet us there. She's gonna take another, uh, another bus ride. I think my mom likes it when I'm there so she can shop and fill the back of my truck up with stuff from Villa and Tops. <laughs> no, but we enjoy eating lunch together, spending time together, walking around. And uh, she likes to go visit with her. She has a few friends there now. And uh, she likes to do that. So uh, yeah, that's, that's what's going on in the immediate, immediate future. Anyway, guys, good morning. It's gonna be a good day. Good morning. Bank up kitten, kitten mafia, magma. I say you guys missed her a whole lot. Uh, when I have an appointment back in uh, Con Ken to get uh, reevaluate my my hands, I'm gonna bring her and have her uh, see the doctor, and maybe do some X-rays and go from there. We'll make a little trip out of it when we go. Paige, good morning, sunshine. You okay? You in the temporary kitchen? I'm gonna get some palpi accent. Okay. You're gonna eat with your mom. I see we're running out of engines. Probably got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 left. Well, he's working hard and getting them done. Maybe a couple under here too, 15, 16, maybe a couple hiding. Productivity is really slow because this help is thinned out to bare minimal his help at the shop. He has not too many people working for him now. Okay. Huh? <laughs> Laundry? <Am> I underwear? <laughs> okay, sorry. I'm gonna go get food. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I'm in here editing videos and Paige just comes in here. I'm just sitting here at my little workstation that I've set up here and what I call Billy's room. So I had a plan a few months ago to take down this wall here. Take the wall down, make this one big bedroom of ours next door, and I was gonna set my little office up here in the corner. And then we were gonna make the other guest room here, which I'll show you guys in a minute you've seen it. Uh, we called that a hostel room because we have a bunch of beds in there. Make that Billy's room. Until we do the downstairs apartment. I don't know when that's going to be. It's depending on my father-in-law. I could do it now, actually, because there's... Um, that space in the back is not being used. So um, I'm, I'm thinking about mom in the future. She's going to have to stay here. Uh, hopefully not in the near future. I'm sure she doesn't probably want that, but... It'll be okay. Actually, we're between Mukdahan and the Kompanom, and there's a better mall and shopping in Mukdahan. I just have to take her. And there's no grab here, unfortunately. I don't think there is, but um, plenty of tuk-tuks. <laughs> and me, the chauffeur. So anyway, Paige comes in the room and says, uh, what are you gonna do with this bed and this thing here? 
And I said, well, I wasn't really thinking too hard about it. I was just going to move it into the other room. She goes, well, what about the other stuff? And I'm like, I don't know. I, is it a big deal? I mean, can we we'll figure something out? I said, it's just, do you not want to do this project? Or what are you coming in here telling me for? Um, because I guess it's okay, but sometimes with Thai women, they don't. They don't want to get confrontational for for sure a lot of them and well let me just talk about Paige in general <laughs> not try to stereotype people she doesn't like confrontational sometimes she goes around and about a way of saying things instead of just saying it you know like me i just say it and it's not always good so after going around the block a few times with the conversation i said look the only reason why i want to do this project is because I feel guilty. I'm in here working on the computer, editing videos, <clears throat> and you're in the room. Maybe you've just, you know, you've come to the room for the evening, and I feel like I'm neglecting you. I, I'm thinking too much, and I, I feel guilty. And I like, I get off the computer, and then I go in there. You know, I feel guilty. I don't want to be the type of husband where I'm spending too much time uh, isolating myself from you. And she's like, you do think too much. It's okay, I said. You, you can change this into your, your studio if you want to, and we can just do something different. And I was like, oh, well, I would love to do that. Just take this crap out of here because I have a lot of office stuff. You know, make this my, my studio where I can do my editing, do some videos, and not... I have to worry she goes no I, I actually i'd rather you not take the wall down because i don't want to listen to you editing videos she goes i don't want to hear hey y'all check here i'm <laughs> i was like okay I, that sounds good to me and uh you know i'm just trying to be considerate of billy's room um you know our relationship and, and this and that and between me working like i i don't I'm not really, I'm doing, I'm on the computer editing video because that's what I really love about the YouTube stuff. I love editing videos and sometimes I get in here too long, you know, or I'm watching something on, on YouTube. So anyway, that's the deal. So I'm going to take, we're going to get these two beds in the other room. We're going to give them away. We bought new frames for them to make it look neater. But we're going to give them away. I'm going to put this in there. And the little bed is actually my mom's bed whenever we do her little studio apartment and then when we have guests they can just stay in that room but um i asked mafia first i said she's like i don't care do whatever the hell you want to do that was her answer like okay well do you know anybody who wants the beds at least she goes i'll find out <laughs> because the thing about it is is every time a group of people come over that used to stay here my mother-in-law always says oh no uh falang's got friends coming over you can't stay here I'm like, so she uses me as an excuse because she doesn't want to cook anymore for a big group of people. Because when they come, they stay for a few days and she's got to cook all this food and then clean up after them. So she's tired of it. And then Paige has to do the housework uh, when they leave. So they just assume that we just change that into a smaller guest room. So if we have guests or when Billy comes, they have a room. But we're going to close in the front window because it's too hot. Before we do that, we're probably just gonna insulate it with some foam to keep the noise down and the heat. But we're gonna change the, we're gonna get rid of this window here cause it's too big. In all the rooms, all three of the rooms, we're gonna get rid of the windows, put a smaller window, a more modern window that has a functional screen. And um, we're going to close in that front window glass cause it's very noisy and it leaks water and it's too hot so we're getting rid of that yeah so i've got some projects to do i have nothing to do anyway while i'm home if it doesn't stop raining tonight or today i'm not going to be able to go see mom tomorrow so yeah that's what's happening right now so you know <laughs> the problem sometimes is i we don't you know when you're in a relationship uh a foreign relationship communication is always an issue so not just understanding uh cultural indifferences you know we 
as Westerners, we do things differently. We speak our mind differently. We think differently. As a generalization, and so sometimes things like this pop up, and you're like, so the whole time you really didn't want to do it, and you took this long when, when I'm really, because I just said yesterday when we were talking on the way home, I said, like, I want to get this project started. I want to do this. So it was like coming to, to where I want you to call them right now and come give me a quote. And it just came to a point at the end where she goes, okay. I could just see it in her eyes and the way she was talking. What are you going to, and I'm thinking in my mind, why are you coming and telling, like, this is not a, that's not a big deal. Like, okay, what's, what's really going on here? <laughs> and, uh, yeah, after fishing around, we've, we've come up with a solution that works and easy, and it'll be even cheaper. So, yeah, she doesn't want to hear me blah, blah, blah. <laughs> anyway, speaking of that, I'll stop. Hostel room. I need to change all the lights in here too. Yeah, so this room is big. This is the biggest room upstairs. And this window brings in a lot of heat from the sun. It also leaks because it's old. All of the weather stripping, silicone, everything is wore out. Um, needs to be repaired or replaced but we've decided to brick it all in. <clears throat> brick it in because we don't need it. Maybe put some mood lighting, LED lighting up here. Take this window out, put a smaller, more efficient window in. And yeah, I'm taking these beds out. We bought those frames for 2,000 baht each. Ordered them on Lazada, they're not real expensive. The bed mattresses are firm. Um, we're going to give it away and I'm going to take this and just kind of put it over there for now. This will go in my, this was my mom's bed. She picked that out. She really likes it. It'll go perfect in the apartment for her whenever she comes here. But for now, I'm going to leave it in this room. Maybe just put it to the side. I think, I don't know what's going to happen when I'm going to do the bottom. Maybe a couple years from now. I'm not sure. The problem is I can't do anything until we do the roof. The whole roof needs to be replaced. It's old. Um, the tiles are bad. We're going to put all new metal roof in there and a suspended ceiling through the whole thing. Um, we need to do that before we start on the room. And my father-in-law has got all his stuff in there. He says he's getting rid of everything when he retires. So once that happens, we'll start that project. It's not a rush. I'm happy. I'm going to have a studio. <laughs> my mom is 72. My in-laws are the same age. My father-in-law is a little older. Eventually, they're going to need some home care. Uh, so eventually, we'll have to maybe build another, take the, I don't know what we're going to do. We're most likely going to have to have a live-in here to take care of everybody. But the the extra room and all this stuff is to benefit us taking care of my mom and my in-laws all at the same time, make it easier for everybody. And that's a lot of the reason why we came back to Thailand was to take care of her parents. I didn't know it was going to be doing this for mom, but it all worked out. What the hell? This is what you got to deal with in Thailand right here. ดูนะฮะนี่ครับนะครับเดี๋ยวเราจะไปที่ตะปอมดับเพลิงที่อาบาดิปะพอเมื่อไปกองกับพี่เมื่อเป็นกระจาตุเป็นหาตอบครับก
เนี่ยจะล่างจะล่างตาตาตาตาตาไปแยกตาแยกตาที่ชายต้องไปแบบกินแบบหน้านะครับเราต้องคอยกันไปแล้วไปไปแล้วคอยแบบโน้นนะครับไปหน้าหน้าฝนดูไปคิดว่าทำไมแอคแบกคือเราคิดว่าเราจะทำเส้นนี้แล้วมันจะทำให้เราได้รับการใช้ชีวิตที่ดีขึ้นแล้วผมก็ไม่ได้คิดว่าจะทำเส้นนี้แล้วมันจะทำให้เราได้รับการใช้ชีวิตที่ดีขึ้นแล้วผมก็ไม่ได้คิดว่าจะทำเส้นนี้แล้วมันจะทำให้เราได้รับการใช้ชีวิตที่ดีขึ้นแล้วผมก็ไม่ได้คิดว่าจะทำเส้นนี้แล้วมันจะทำให้เราได้รับการใช้ชีวิตที่ดีขึ้นแล้วผมก็ไม่ได้คิดว่าจะทำเส้นนี้แล้วมันจะทำให้เราได้รับการใช้ชีวิตที่ดีขึ้นแล้ว Right across from our Lotus store in here, Top and Om, they've opened up a new Ga uh, Young grilled chicken place. And Mafia's like it because they got a little air conditioned room. But the temperature's really good right now, so we'll see. Okay, either they made a tiny bit or they sold out, so they don't have the any. The new shipment have, have them come. Oh, the new shipment of chicken. Mm -hmm. Did you tell them there's a store right there? <laughs> You want to go get pizza? No. Okay. Uh, how about that hamburger place? Hamburger. No. Okay. Let's go. Okay. I just took him over here. This lady's really nice, and it's just right by the house over here. Me and Paige came here, but I want to show you guys something. We haven't been home in a long time. You guys know the river was massively full and current was flowing, pulling all kind of debris and crap down the river. Well, I want to show it to you right now. And boy, has it changed. First off, here's this. The water was all the way up to there before we left. And that looks like a candle boat festival boat right down there looks like it's come down river from the festival but the water's low you can see the little island in the middle well check this out <laughs> that island which was all the way over there has come out the island didn't expand that's all the dirt i'm sorry the sand that came from up river and flowed there now that the water level is down Now we have a massive island in front of everything. So when they come in from the loud or the market, they have to come all the way around here and go in. But now we have a massive island. I'm sure they'll be building something out there, temporary stuff to uh, to have parties and stuff. Maybe the move the festival stuff out here. <laughs> who knows? Who knows? They're really kind of creative about stuff, you know, like that. Make it a little Tapanom Beach. This is a uh, taxi here to go back and forth to Lao. One coming in. Is it cooked? That wasn't our food. That was their food over there. Mafia already grabbed a piece of it though. She's like, it's okay, I taste it a little bit. It's okay. okay. I think this is ours. Give me chong. Chong. Mm -hmm. 
All right, that was good. 580 baht. The new Thai island. I mean, new <laughs> Tapanom island. All right, well, this is it so far. I have to, um, I'm gonna get some shelving tomorrow when I'm in town. And uh, you guys, a lot of people have sent me some cool stuff. And I wanna put it on the shelf on display. Uh, I think that would be cool. Still uh, got a lot of organizing to do still. But this is, uh, this looks pretty good, huh? I think it looks a lot neater, a lot better. And we I ended up just putting that little bed right there. I was thinking we need a table, but I mean, if somebody, this is Billy's bed. He just put his suitcase or something on top of here. And we got our little storage stuff there. Mostly pages, pillows. But it's a big room. Well, I wanted to play golf tomorrow. Yeah, I don't think so. Yay. Yeah. Oh, I have a <laughs> <laughs> แก้วแรกแก้วแรกแก้วแรกเออไม่ใช่สีแก้วไปกี่วันครับครึ่งเดือนมั้ยสองสองคืนอะไรครับสองสองอาทิตย์ครึ่งเดือนมั้ยกล